Good morning guys, this is going to be a slightly different video this time but today what we're going to be doing is a full training day with a customer of ours so I'm going to let him explain what we're going to do, why, etc, etc. So Christian, introduce yourself. Okay, yeah, so I'm Christian, uh, I've got the 2017 Mustang outside and today basically we're going to wash it, uh, decon, um, check out the paint, give it a bit of a polish and uh, yeah, use some of uh, Nick's cool new products. Yeah, over two days, so before anybody says we're going to polish the whole car in a day, that's not going to happen. So yeah, two days um, and whatever else you want to learn. Yeah, so yeah we'll, we'll go over the flow, whatever we've got time for. Pain assessments, cutting, finishing, etc, etc. I'm going to try and capture as much of this on camera as I can. I'm going to plunk it down and let it roll and then see what happens. So Cool, sounds good. Cool, see you soon. Let that roll, let that roll, yeah. Cool. Right guys, so the car's outside now. Um, we've just started on the first wheel. I've taken through some of the new products that we're developing. So now the pressure washer's gone. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move onto the other wheel and I'm just gonna put the camera down and you'll see some of the process that we're going to take. So let me take you on this. This is where you know put the green brush 
I mean, if that lash should go all the way, there it'll go all the way, no problem. I can still hold the chip, it's a good thing. But behind the caliper, um, you have to use. making ice cream today. Is that in? Thickest foam I've ever used. You heard it straight from the source. pre-wash has been done, the yum foam has been rinsed, Christian is performing a very safe wash using the two bucket method and the yum cars yum wash. Now pay close attention, Christian is not overlapping at any point more than twice on the panels. Now of course he's been instructed to do so by myself. Now the reason you do this, the point in a contact wash is to agitate the dirt and not scrub it back into your paint by doing five, 10 passes over the same panel. Now with the car inside, uh, we've moved on to the drying stage. So basically what you can't hear on the audio that I've cut out is I'm explaining to Christian when drying the car, if this was a maintenance wash, you would take a little bit more care in terms of they don't want to induce any sort of damage back into the paintwork. However, seeing as this car for the most part, not all of it, but the majority of the car was going to get a good heavy compound and a refinement. The scratching in terms of the drying process is not as important because you will be removing them anywhere throughout the polishing process. So instead of wasting time, we dried it with towels and of course, as you could see, with air. So oh, one second, that's going to really, one sec, hold the light, I've got a good one. So if you guys can see, all around this area, as I move you could see the moor in there. Let's see if I can zoom in. There, see? It's there. Yeah, we got it. Christian, just come here a second. Have a look how your car looks on camera. Boom! <laughs> when do we correct it? We're going to break the lens. <laughs> so basically, you work around the car, and sometimes you see the deeper marks like head on. Yeah. Sometimes you see more veins from what you're doing. This is why I know this process can take you at least an hour, mm -hmm. minimum. Walk around and take the car off where you think it's the worst. Now, I think you can second a few. What do you mean this? Oh, no, 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 don't, don't look at the plastic. Yeah, I've already seen that. Um, yeah, see. Oh yeah, that's horrible. Ooh, that's a little... Yeah, can you see? But there, I think this one here, Maybe you could look, it's like a circle almost, I don't know if you're... Yeah, you know what, I had, um, when the car was quite dirty, I had a massive bit of shat on it. Now, come here, look, look at this, do you think I have to this side? Yeah, that's... Especially when I'm looking here. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it all, all the way through the... Yeah, that's 
supposed to. No, I want to. I want to see. Oh Jesus, it's even worse in this life. So yeah, I mean we'll pretend these as well. This will give you a brighter perspective, maybe potentially. You know, you're looking. Um, you've got. You know, you want to come here. Maybe. No, we'll go to that. See? Yep. Yeah. Not as good as I thought. So you might be going into um, an enhancement detail in your head because you saw that. Now you're thinking this is trash. Potentially we've got that whole rear bumper looks trash. Mm -hmm. um, so what we'll do is we always do this. The face of misery. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm very limited in my. No, but if you had everything available to you, yeah. you would more than likely be like, right, I'm going to cut, I'm going to refine. Yeah? Yeah. Now, the problem that you've got here, yeah, I'm just trying to teach you how much you can get stuff in here. You've got no micrometer, yeah. you just show you a 100ml of clear. So you're potentially going to start cutting this, with, you don't know how much lack there is, and then you're going to refine, just going to take a little bit more off potentially. And zoom is all the things. For a test panel, um, what's, what's the first thing you're doing in this pad? Mm. Four dots? Yeah. I'll try the first. Okay. Which is going to be, firstly, you want, you want the, the form to instantly work. So you know this? Yeah. That's only possible to work immediately. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you mean, yeah. I'm covering every pore. So when you spin this now, every pore.
Now, what are we seeing? This is just don't get this is so far of the test time. Yeah. Just, ooh. So that was no fault. Is that dead? Hit the lights, please. So basically. So basically it's up to you now where you, you decide are you looking for integrity of the paint or you decide no let's cut as much as we can but then you know that you'll probably not be able to polish over again. No, I'd, I'd rather keep my thing. The way I would do this is I would do a one step, yeah. probably work it a little bit longer than you should. Mm -hmm. And you're probably going to knock 50, 60 if you're looking at some panels, okay. percent, and mm -hmm. you'll most likely not see this in real life. Because don't forget, we are literally like this. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, a, yeah it's hard to tell unless you've got like a bad example right next to it. But I mean, I was pretty happy with the paint as it was. Exactly. With that. And you agree with that? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. Now it looks more busy, right? Yeah, because obviously got more product in there. Obviously avoid that area, but it should wipe up a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is because, you know why? I polished the polish to remove one, you either overwork it, mm -hmm. or you've got so much contamination in that polish now that's even sticky. I see, okay. It's the one. So you reassess again and you have a look. You can actually see what you've done. Now when I mean a small area, you know what you did there, this would be my small area, so example. Pass. That's a short cycle. Okay. And you're giving, you're literally, you're giving the polish the, the best, the best work time because you know you are actually broken down all the abrasives. Yeah. Okay. Really depends. It actually works much better with the good compound. So, what we've done on here, this is definitely the worst area because somebody over here decided to have a bird poo, so again, it's ruined. Um, so I've done here, so the first third of uh, the bonnet in a one step polish, so soft pad, soft polish, nothing worked. So we're just now into the stages of our Maudau method, so I'll just quickly show you, you can see the polish just there so we've done a two pass method so heavy polish two quick passes he's blown the pad out he's now into the secondary stage of not wiping the polish but adding a lot more polish so you've seen the big dollops on a small area so we're going to continue the secondary pass
to what it was it's definitely better so now this is the point where you would more than likely you can continue and probably do your normal hit or maybe I would do another Mao down style method but my recommendation is just your normal four dots four or five passes etc now the average reading was out just said 170 yeah 173, I think it was in the middle. Yeah. So you've actually probably put more two microns in the Yeah. 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 Just to show it to the camera. We had two readings at first, so 169 and 172, so we averaged it at 170. Now what is that reading? 167. So with all that aggression, we've took off two microns. Yeah. Um, so it's up to you now what you want to do. How would you hit this next? So you've seen you've took out what? 80%? Yeah, I'd do one more time. You do it one more time. So and do that middle section again. Middle section again. Because if you do it by hands, this is what happens to your hands. <laughs> so polish residue. Happy? Yep, it's good. I would say four four medium dollops of pure slickness. And I'll probably work the same area again as like we did. Yep. In fact, just for reference point, where's the where's the torch? So what we're we working on. So you're probably, I'm just trying to remember you've got two up and down marks here. Uh you fair that's it maybe. A few here and there. Four one second. Yeah.
He's a bit more tacky than usual. Oh yeah. Oh, that's definitely better. Look at that. Nothing is there. Yeah, that's. That is what you got. Ninety-nine percent right there. You've heard it straight from the horse's mouth, 99%, two hits, and probably, how much damage would you say there was? Quite a lot. It was very slow. So two hits, 100%, okay, 99%, and it's good. Give me some. Pow! You look at that from here, that's like when you see the, uh, the um, 50 times zoom images. Yeah, and then if you look at this one as well, I mean, it's the same thing as this other mini. That's a fresh card. So, if I could have done you this test, but I could have put it on your paint and you could have just done a one. You no, know, it cuts well, yeah. but it causes a lot of micro damage. And I just wanted to show you what it looked like when you've got compound paste, a, a compound mooring. Um, but what I'm trying to say, the point I'm trying to make is when your compound, you, you obviously because I've done finish and polish here, mm. um, you'll be able to see a very clear, like a hazy area of both, but not hazy, to it, which kind of saves you on the correction mm. time. And the uh, what, what, why is that? Because we use the microfiber? No, so my, well, microfiber could, in fact, it does usually do some mooring. Mm. But because you've worked them through a special way, so you've got so it's from the wire to micro pad, and from Carl Pro is compound. If you, the, the longer you work the compound, the more it breaks down, so it's called oh, diminishing stuff. Yeah, okay. So it starts heavy, finishes light, um, because you've worked it the right amount of time. Mm. And the type of paint, it, it also depends on the paint. I've done some paints where you just hit and it just hit it instantly. Mm. The this is. It looks nice now. Yeah. Um, and then now, all you would do, obviously, I'll hit this area now, is to match the rest of the booms. But a one step further, see um, refinements, mm -hmm. right? a few passes, and you're done. Nice. You know. You impressed? Yeah, very yeah, happy, especially with, the, with that. I think that's well, what we can try and do now is where is that knot? There. Mm. We can have a ball, a bash. Now the problem you're going to face here, this is plastic. Yeah. Um, and plastic absorbs heat heavily. Uh, yeah. So if you're going to start compounding, you can burn really quick. Mm -hmm. Because obviously this, and you can hear the difference. That's hollow mm -hmm. plastic, and it with with metal, you hit it and it kind of um, transfer the heat outwards a little bit better. Okay. In plastic, because plastic is going to keep that point. Oh. We'll try it. Yeah, I'm too fast about it now. No. <laughs> yeah, we go.